required. Hi friends, Dylan and I want to welcome you to a new season of Bird Dogs Afield, your complete video magazine on bird dog training and upland bird hunting. Thanks for watching. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, the official dog food of Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, and brought to you in part by Irish Setter by Red Wing Legendary Performance, bred for sport and available at L.L. Bean, Orvis, Ugly Dog Hunting, or your favorite Irish Setter dealer. RST, manufacturer of short chamber low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment. Hi friends. You know, we've, uh, you've seen probably two of the episodes on our cover dog field trial in northern New Hampshire. One of the dogs that really stood out for me was Long Gone Buckwheat. Now that's uh, a kennel out of northern New Hampshire, probably one of the top setter kennels in the country. Well, it's, it is one of the top uh, setter kennels in the country. And this Long Gone Buckwheat, I really thought was a great dog. Uh, so I've interviewed Lloyd Murray, the owner of Long Gone Setters, and also Dave Hughes. Now, both are well known in the Cover Dog uh, Field Trial Network. Uh, Lloyd is, uh, again, in northern New Hampshire, owns the kennel, and then we have Dave Hughes from Pennsylvania, who's a very well-known trainer, and I've inter interviewed them, and they're just going to tell you a little bit about Long Gone Buckwheat and uh, what's, what the history of this dog is and what the future holds. Let's watch. Hi, friends. Your dog works hard for you. You need to return that respect. You need to feed a high-quality, premium dog food. I think the best premium dog food today on the market is native performance dog food. It's formulated for the canine athlete. It comes in four levels to meet the stress and activity level for your dog. Make the change today. It'll be the best thing you've ever done for your dog. Well, the dog that we're talking about is long gone buckwheat. He last uh, fall he ran the New England Open Championship as a derby. Uh, he won the championship. Lloyd handled the dog. Uh, we've worked the dog back and forth together. Uh, he's still a derby. He just turned two. Today's performance uh, he had uh, two fines. Handled very well. Last week I ran him in the National Walk and Shooting Dog Futurity. He had four fines did very well. He won the Futurity. Uh, he's placed uh, third National Grass Derby Classic this spring. And last fall, I think I won the Leslie Derby. I won the uh, Woodcock, Futurity. Woodcock Futurity and placed him fourth in the Grand National. And the dog is, for his age and what he's doing, is kind of what you would say what people want to have. A dog that can be a big gun, and this dog, as young as he is, is already a champion. Lloyd had worked hard with this dog in Wild Birds, ran him in the championship. I had him last winter. Before last, I had him as a puppy. Lloyd and I discussed it. I pushed the dog a little bit on his bird work, and he started to get better and better and had a great summer on Wild Birds. And Lloyd ran him in the New England Open, won the championship, as I said before. And he, you know, it's he's out of top breeding. He's by uh, uh, Murphy, Long Gone Murphy, who is by Grass Ridge Sage or Queen. I'm sorry, Grass Ridge Queen, and out of Long Gone George. And a lot of the sons and grandsons of Long Gone George crossed with the Grass Ridge breeding. I've done very well with these dogs. They're easy to work with. They want to please. Pointer birds. Uh, you know, he is a good wild bird dog. Uh, worked him this year. I had him come down early and I spent a lot of time with him. And also we have been using him for stud. There's some puppies out of him. Uh, I think people would like him as a sire because he's got good leg strength. He's got a good built, and he just is gait and his smoothness. Now today he got third. The other two dogs above him had a little bit more bird work. 
But uh, the, and the, the three dogs they placed, they were all pretty equal. It was just a matter of, you know, who ran the biggest and who did the best in their book. I mean, it could have gone a, a, any way. So. Friends, important information on one of our sponsors. We'll be right back with our program. Stay tuned. Mark, that was some pretty good shooting. Uh, how do you feel about those shells? I'm impressed with RST. I really love those shells. Well, I, I love them too. I got to tell you, whether you're on the range or out in the field, they're, uh, they've got a good uniform, consistent pattern, low pressure. I think they're the best shell on the market. I hope you try them this fall in the field. I can't wait to get out there. Good. All right. Thanks a lot, Mark. And uh, you too try them both on the range and in the field. Now, Lloyd, you give a little input. I don't think what else I can bring up. I'm not a movie star, but I'm trying to do the best I can here. You could, you could be a movie star. Yeah, right. Long gone buckweed, uh, I hunted him a lot as a puppy, and I co-own him with an attorney from Rutland, Maine, named Todd Calter. I mean, Rutland, Vermont. And we hunted him a lot, and then we gave him to Dave to take south for the winter when he was a puppy, and Dave worked him on birds um, and got him holding birds real well. Then he won the Grand National Grouse Puppy Classic with him. The first event he was entered in, and Dave, I didn't see it, but in Pennsylvania, and Dave said he had his hands full running the dog. He was just, he's a lot of dog, but he's a real sweet animal. Then we placed him in a few uh, puppy stakes last spring. Then in, we worked him hard on wild birds all summer, and Dave came up a lot, and we worked, and he helped me. Then we placed him a lot last fall on wild birds, and we hunted the living hell out of the dog. Then I gave him to Dave this winter, and he hunted him on grouse starting in Pennsylvania. Most of December and January, he kept him all winter. We went to North Carolina with the dog. He had him in Ohio. He's still got the dog. He's leaving here in New Hampshire at the end of April. He's going to New York with him. Um, I've had some issues with the dog. I don't claim to be a professional dog trainer. I rely on Dave to help me. Um, Dave's ironed out some things with the dog. Um, and he's been a huge help. Without Dave's help, I, that dog would not be even close to what he is today. I mean, I just, I just, he's a lot of animal, and um, it takes a, a, a real good professional like Dave to, to understand an animal like that and to work with him. And I, I really appreciate Dave's help, and I rely on him a lot. So and the, think there's a good future. To this oh, God, it's, it's bright. He it's health bright, determines bright. everything. If he stays healthy, um, the sky's the limit for the dog. Um, you know, it was funny. I, I won the walking shooting dog futurity with him, the national walking shooting dog futurity, and both judges were standing there, and we posed for the picture. And the object of the futurity is judges pick dogs in this futurity that should be potential to go on and be a champion. And I shook their hands, and I said, you know, I don't have to DNA him because he already was. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, he won the New England Open Championship, and their jaws hit the floor. I said, you guys did a wonderful job judging the futurity with him winning it. <laughs> and I was kind of digging him a little bit about it. But, I mean, he's a good dog, and uh, a lot of work put into him. And that's you got to work hard to get what you want out of it. And uh, I've had some frustrations at times, but, you know, you got to understand, he's only going to get better as he gets older. We'll hunt him more probably run them in some championships and just bring them along the way it should be brought so very good all right thanks a lot gentlemen no problem thanks, folks beautiful tail feathers aren't they pheasants forever is out there working every day for the pheasant for you to make sure we have this beautiful game bird around for a long time join pheasants forever today they need your help <laughs> Dylan and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bird Dogs Afield. Friends, this is your complete video magazine on upland bird hunting and pointing dogs. Check back frequently on MyOutdoorTV.com for future programming. Also, you'll find additional information on our website, BirdDogsAfield.com. Friends, also support our sponsors. They help make this possible. Dylan and I hope to meet you in the field someday. Until then, good hunting. Hunt safely. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food and brought to you in part by Irish Setter Legendary Boots, RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, and On Point Kennel.